Most of us know that if we want to join more than two columns in Excel, the best way is to use a text join function. Let's use a text join function and see what problem we get. So I'll say equal to text join open bracket. What is the delimiter? Basically, once you get everything in one cell, how you want to separate it? I want to separate it with comma. So I'll open an inverted commas, give a comma and I want to give a space. I'll close inverted commas. I want to ignore any empty cells. These are the empty cells I want to ignore. So I'll say true. What I want to join the best part with the text join is you can select all what you want to join at once close bracket and enter we got it now i will come here do a double click and you can see wherever there is a blank it has taken care but the problem is date if you see date it is taking the excel custom format which gives number which is not correct how you will solve in this scenario using a text join function let's see i will remove this last after true first text one i will give only a2 comma now i want to do a format for this date so i'll use a text column open bracket what is the value this is the value what i want the format I want the format dd dash mmm dash yy close the inverted commas close the bracket for text function and comma now I can use both of this together close bracket and enter and now you will see you got the date column as well so this is how you use a text join function when you get a date in between to get it correct if you like this tutorial please do share and subscribe thank you so much